Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Nikki. Today I'm going through three different Halloween collections that I have in my Etsy shop and I decided I wanted to hold a sale on them. But instead of reducing the price, I thought it'd be more fun to actually just double the number of pieces of ephemera in each collection and offer it at the same price. So this first set that I'm going through is called Frightfully Fun and you can see it predominantly features oranges and blacks. I'm gonna pull in some greens today and um, I'll take you with me as I go through some of my vintage and new items and choose what I think will go best with this collection. So I'm kind of excited to take you behind the scenes and give you a view of my thought process when I'm coordinating these ephemera pieces. So let's get started. So this one is called Frightfully Fun if you're looking for it um, in my shop. So I pulled a couple things that I thought would match. I'm just going to lay them out. So the first one is a Halloween bag. So I'm going to add that bag. These milk caps. So I'm going to add one of those. These are vintage. But like sweep would go with like the broom. So I'm going to add that one here. Um, pulling in some greens. I have a matchbook, matchbook cover here. I'm going to add that. I wanted to add some um, vintage seam binding or rickrack. So I have these colors that I was going to pull into each collection. So I think the black would go really well with this one and I think the green rickrack would go really well. But I think I'm going to pull the black seam binding in with this one. So you'll get all of that. I've got these Happy Halloween wood veneer pieces from Target dollar spot. So I'm going to add that. I've got these black vintage letters that I think were like originally sign letters. So I was going to add that as the number six. I have some flashcards here that I haven't gone through. So I'm just going to see if anything would go with Halloween. Not really, so I think I'll pass on those. Cat um, I could do for Halloween. Just gonna think about that one. Okay, there weren't really any of the other ones in there. I think I'm gonna add that. Okay, I have some black envelopes that are hand addressed. Look at that, that's so neat, that writing on there. This one actually has some stamps on it. So I'm gonna add that. I'm gonna have to start overlapping a little bit here, but that'll be okay. I've got some vintage Yassi score cards. So I'm gonna add one of those. This will be more for um, journal spots. Put that over here. Then I've got a, a file folder, file separator here for the month of October. So we're gonna put that in there. Got another envelope. These are just craft paper envelopes that are vintage. And then I have some paper that I'm also gonna add. This is actually just craft paper. I'm gonna add two pieces of that. And then I'm also gonna add two pieces of the lined paper and I like these because they they're not stark white they they're a little bit more cream so I'm going to add these four pieces okay the next thing that I pulled was a page out of a Sears Roebuck catalog from it's a 1902 edition so what it is it's just a replica print of it so you kind of get the newer the newer looking pages, but with the vintage pictures. So this was a nice catalog that I picked up. So I took this one with the sickles and the pitchforks. I thought that was kind of creepy. I'm gonna slide that underneath there. Then I've got a flashcard that has 13 on it. 
that up there. I'm going to rearrange this after I'm all done and I'll give you guys some great pictures of it. Um, I've got a tag that says trick or treat with a witch's hat. I've got a majesty snap fastener piece that is vintage. So that's the green and black on there. I've got some war stamps here, pulling in the green again. Got a little bat embellishment that I'm gonna add. And I've got three of these mini flashcards. This one's got the crows on it. And then I've got 31, if you wanna say, you know, 31 for when Halloween is, or you could do one and three for 13. So I've got those three. I've got a vin or not a vintage, a glitter spider, um, a glitter pumpkin with a witch's hat. I've got a wood veneer witch's hat in orange. And then I've got these two, they're like cupcake toppers, but they look super vintage the way that the pumpkin and the cat are. And adding these two, that is 30 extra pieces. So I'm gonna count the total number of pieces in the collection and um, lay it all nice for you guys so you can see exactly what you're getting. Okay guys, this is a total of 55 pieces. So it must have started with 25 and I added 30. So let me just take you through some of them. There are the cards, one and three, the spider, We've got the gift bag, the snaps, a tag, the cu cupcake toppers, the matchbook, the wood veneer witch's hat, got a guest check and an alterations check on there, tissue paper, two vintage envelopes, a wood veneer happy Halloween, a vintage Yahtzee scorecard, some chipboard stickers, the uh, war stamps, milk cap. We have the um, replica Sears catalog with a sickle and the pitchfork in it. We've got the actual Sears catalog that has the Ouija board and other games on it. We have a sequin mix in a test tube, a napkin, um, some straws. There is the note card with the the flash card with the crows on it. Some vintage Monopoly cards. Um, the sweep, the number six. You've got the um, seam binding there. I took out the washi tape and I added this little paper clip instead because I think washi tape um, gets gummed up after a while, so I didn't want to include that in the collection. Um, there's some more of the little um, bits and bobs. So that is it. So again, this one is called Frightfully Fun. And this is going to be up in my Etsy shop. It's $15. Free shipping. And uh, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye.